From 2017 to 2024, it's been almost 7 years since Brawl Stars was released. During this long time, everything has changed in the game. We've seen some great updates and some horrible updates that killed the game. So today, we're gonna unleash the entire history of Brawl Stars, raid every single year, and answer the scariest question ever, is Brawl Stars dying? So grab your favorite snack and get ready for 8 minutes of pure entertainment. Brawl Stars was released in 2017 with 15 brawlers. At this time, it used to be a landscape game like Clash Royale, and you had to use Elixir to upgrade your brawlers. These were the starting brawlers and these were the only game modes available at the time of launch. In September, Brawl Ball was added into the game. It didn't take any ammo to shoot the ball, making it extremely OP for some brawlers. Only 4 brawlers were added this year, Piper, Terra, Daryl and Pam, summarizing a total of 19 brawlers by the end of 2017. During this time, Brawl Stars was only available in iOS devices in Canada. I rate this year 7 out of 10. In 2018, Brawl Stars went from portrait to landscape. In June, it was made available on Android. Elixirs were replaced by PowerPoints. Duo Showdown was added into the game along with big boxes, trophy road, heist rework, and event modifiers such as energy drinks and meteors. Three new brawlers, Penny, Frank, and Leon were added in 2018, making a sum total of 22 brawlers. Battle Log, Replace, and Spectator Mode was added this year as well. In November 14, Brawl Stars were global. Brawl Stars going global! It was a huge moment in Brawl Stars history. The first ever Brawl Talk was uploaded on December 7, 2018, featuring Ryan and Frank. I rate this year 6.5 out of 10. In 2019, Brawl Stars improved dramatically. With the use of new 3D environments, the game started looking like the game we all know and love today. Brand new features such as Training Cave, Brawl TV, Second Star Powers, Graveyard Shift Modifier were added. Star points were added into the game as a currency to buy skins and star powers. Brawler ranks were extended from rank 20 to rank 35. Power Play was added into the game, which was basically the earlier version of Power League. 10 new brawlers were added this year, including Jean, Carl, Rosa, BB, Tick, 8-Bit, Sandy, B, Max, and Ims. By the end of 2019, there were a total of 32 brawlers in the game. In April of 2019, our beloved Danny joined the Brawl Stars team. Overall, it was a pretty solid year for Brawl Stars, and it's in 2019 that I first played the game. I'm gonna rate this year 7 out of 10. In 2020, COVID-19 spawned out of nowhere and suddenly everyone was stuck in their house. And what better way to spend your time than to brawl? Brawl Stars started growing dramatically in 2020 and went through some big changes. Brawl Pass was introduced in May and it completely transformed the game. Gadgets, pins, fences, teleporters and map maker was added. A new game mode called Hot Zone was added too. Trophy Road was expanded to 50,000 trophies. 11 new brawlers were added this year, including Mr. P, Jackie, Sprout, Gale, Nanny, Serge, Colette, Lou, Amber, Byron, and the free brawler Edgar, making a grand total of 43 brawlers. Tickets and 8-bits broken extra life star power were removed from the game. In the last month of 2020, Puck became the first person ever to reach 50,000 trophies in Brawl Stars. Overall, Brawl Stars saw a pretty respectable amount of growth in this year. I rate this year 7.5 out of 10. 2021 was big for Brawl Stars, and I mean big. It was in June 2021 that Brawl Stars reached its highest amount of daily players. Power League was added on March, and even though there was a lot of hype around it at first, it soon became the most hated thing in Brawl Stars. The memes were endless. Then in November, gears were added, which people hated even more. The gear system back then used to be super complicated, and it took a lot of sweat to max out your brawlers. Replay system was reworked. Now you could go forwards or backwards in a battle replay. Club League, club shop, and club coins were also added to the game, and the clubs were reduced from 100 members to 30 members. 11 new brawlers were added to the game. Ruffs, Stu, Bell, Squeak, Buzz, Griff, Ash, Meg, Lola, Fang, and Grom. Zeta Division won the Brawl Stars World Championship in 2021. In April, Ryan left. It's with a heavy heart that I announce that this will be my last Brawl Talk. I rate this year 8 out of 10. In 
2022, Brawl Stars actually started going downhill. Spray's mystery mode, a report system for Power League, was added into the game. In October, gears were reworked to make it easier for players to max out their brawlers. In December, boxes were removed and Star Road, credits and fame were added instead. The Brawl Stars community went wild. The controversy was too overwhelming. It was around this time that a lot of players started leaving the game. Powerpoints got reworked, so you could now use powerpoints on any brawler you like. 10 new brawlers were added this year, including Eve, Janet, Otis, Bonnie, Sam, Gus, Buster, Mandy, Gray, and Chester. By the end of 2022, there were 64 brawlers in the game. Zeta Division won the Brawl Stars World Championship again. By the end of 2022, the future of Brawl Stars looked uncertain. Removing boxes and adding gears were massively unpopular decisions and led to a huge decrease in the amount of daily players. I'm gonna rate this year a solid 5 out of 10. Brawl Stars was in trouble and something had to be done to save the game. And saving the game, they did. Tons of new changes were made in 2023. Mastery was added into the game and it made playing your favorite brawler way more rewarding and fun. Battle cards and new animations made the game look way cleaner. Catalog was added to the shop so that you could buy any skin anytime you want. In June, star drops were added, which kind of revived the feeling of opening boxes. In September, hypercharges were added. Club League was replaced by Mega Pig. In December, Brawl Pass was updated to a more pay-to-win version. 5v5 and win streak was also added to the game. A staggering 12 new brawlers were added this year, including RT, Willow, Maisie, Cordelius, Hank, Doug, Pearl, Chuck, Miko, Kit, Larry, and Laurie. Summarizing a total of 76 brawlers, this is the most number of brawlers added in a single year. Chromatic rarity was removed. In November, November, Zeta Division became the Brawl Stars World Champions for the third time in a row, and Hydra reached the first ever 100,000 trophies. 2023 was an absolute dub for Brawl Stars. With so many big changes, it reached its highest number of daily players. I'm gonna rate this year easily a 9 out of 10. It's only been 2 months in 2024, and in the last Brawl Talk, we were introduced to a new ranked mode replacing Power League, two new brawlers, Melody and Angelo, and a new exciting game mode trophy escape brawl stars currently sits at 78 brawlers and 376 million downloads that is wild it's come a long way from that 2017 crappy brawl stars is brawl stars dying definitely not the future of brawl stars is as bright as the stars